Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be uh, texturing these glasses. So I think I kind of want to want to make them um, just like clear and then with like a metal frame, maybe like gold frames. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to texture the glass part. So what you're going to need to do is just select all these faces on the inside of the glass and then once you have all of those we're going to hold right click do assign new material do ai standard surface um, and then for this we're going to need to turn transmission on um, we're probably going to need to look at arnold's render to actually see it uh, visibly so click on arnold and grab a sky dome light all right, there we go. Just to see if it's going through, click on poly modeling, grab a plane, uh, scale that up, and I'm just gonna move it down so that the glasses are resting on it. And then let's assign a new material to that. We're gonna do AI standard surface again, uh, but this time under color, uh, change it to checkered. All right, so it doesn't quite look like it's going through yet. Um, so let's click on that object and scroll all the way on over to, let's see. Okay, should be, uh, mine's number three. Yours will probably just be one. Okay, there we go. So if you turn the weight of the transmission even higher, uh, it should do that. And then looks like we can kind of mess with some of that, that's kind of cool. So now it's like blurry right now. I can change the depth. I'll probably put the, oh, there we go. So if we put the roughness down, it won't be so rough. So that looks good. All right. And then yeah, I'd keep metalness down as well. All right, so I want to go ahead and texture uh, these circles here. So I'm just gonna go through and I guess select those faces. Maybe I'll do it by ring. All I'm doing is just holding tab and clicking one and then double clicking the next. And then I'm holding tab when I'm selecting these guys. All right, we're getting to a point where you might not be able to select and double click. So all you would just do is just hold tab and go through. Yeah, there we go. Same on that side. And then select these guys on the top. Okay. I'm gonna do the next one and then uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay, so got my circles all done. I'm gonna hold right click and assign a new material to it do shader, AI standard surface, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn transmission up, but I'm gonna keep it at that like foggy state. So I'm not gonna change uh, the roughness. Uh, let's click on Arnold and do render. And then we turned transmission up a bit more. And then you can turn roughness up. I want it to be like that rubbery clear. All right, and then, yeah, keep metalness and that down and keep IOR at a 1.5 state-ish. Okay, so next uh, we're gonna do the frames. So the frames, um, there's a couple different ways you can select them. You can just double click on the whole object and then deselect um, 
like deselect this part since obviously you don't want to texture that. Um, all right, and then for that, um, this I'm holding tab and selecting, but then for this I'm holding control and double clicking and doing the same thing on the other side, hold tab and then hold control and double click. And then um, for these guys, I'm gonna hold control and click and drag just up a little bit like that. And then I'll just go through and deselect, which you can just do by holding tab. And then when it has the minus sign, just start clicking and dragging so that it subtracts them. And then just make sure that you're not, you know, selecting any of these guys as well. A little hard because it's uh, transparent, so if you click 5, you can actually see the wireframe and see what you need to uh, not select. So that could kind of be useful for you. Okay, did it. Um, you can go ahead and click seven again and all you're gonna do is just hold right click, assign a new material, do AI standard surface. And this one I'm gonna make like a metal. So uh, up the metalness on that. And I think I wanna make them gold. So click on the color and find like a fun goldish color. That looks good. All right, so um, that's honestly about it for this. All you gotta do is just up the metalness and you can turn down roughness if you want it even more shiny. Uh, you can play around with the glass texture a bit, um, which will just be in transmission and you can edit depth and stuff like that. But yeah, you can kind of mess around with it a bit. I think I'm pretty happy with where it's at. I'm gonna maybe edit um, this roughness a little bit on these little like nose pads to make them a little bit more plasticky and see-through. And then I'm gonna edit the roughness on the glass as well. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, that is about it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys, um, I don't know, I guess in our next tutorial. <laughs> Bye guys.